Hi there, welcome to part two of my surveillance robot build. If you haven't seen part one, um, it looks at building a robotic arm. It has nothing to do with this video, so you can go ahead and skip it for now if you want. Um, so in this video, we're going to be looking at the Devastator tank platform. It's a nice little treaded robot platform that's sold on Amazon all over the internet. Um, it looks like it'll be a nice little base for us, so let's take a look at it. All right, to get the Devastator up and running, we're going to need a few extra things besides what comes in the box. This guy it only comes with the chassis and some drive motors, so we're going to need a transmitter and a receiver. These are some old, crappy 75 megahertz receivers we'll upgrade to a more reliable bandwidth later. Um, and we also need to add some more channels because this is only a three-channel receiver. And then some components from the dead robot box. This is from DF Robotics. Um, you can buy their stuff on Amazon. They have a website. Amazon looks a little bit better. Uh, but it's packaged very nicely, um, looks really friendly. Gonna open up and see what's inside. Alright, so first thing you open up, you got a nice uh, user's manual sitting here. I flipped through this, it's uh, pretty nice. It's like doing Legos or building Ikea furniture, whatever, whatever one makes you swear less. Um, so, we'll probably need that. Inside a nice individually boxed. So first box, so we got this, it appears to be, you got the tread system in here, so the rollers and the tread, um, some sort of plastic injection molded, and then we got pieces of the frame, this is either painted or anodized black aluminum, uh, not really sure until we get out of the bag and take a look at it, so more chassis pieces. We'll need those to build it, to set that aside. And then we got another box here. This is probably the drive motors. Uh, some good individual packs. Uh, so this is a power pack, power supply for the robot. We got here um, suspension components. You got little spring dampeners, or they're probably just springs and use friction to dampen. Um, we got our two drive motors. Uh, these are pretty chintzy, cheap Chinese plastic gearboxes. It looks like uh, we'll probably upgrade to some better motors later um, from the dead robot box. And uh, here's all our fasteners. This is nice. They're all. Let me take those out. They're all nicely individually labeled. Um, probably go perfect with the IKEA slash Lego instructions to build this guy. So I am gonna. Start building this guy and uh, let's see if we can get him up and running. Well, I'm going to spare everybody the time lapse of me building this guy and see how poorly I follow instructions. But I did want to point out uh, how nice the frame actually is. It's aluminum, like I said. Uh, inserts put into it for all the fasteners. They all look relatively straight. Um, you know, good enough for government work. Uh, here's the assembled Devastator. Um, there's a bit of sag in the treads. Uh, I think this one might be one tread longer. It'll kind of be a pain to change the length on, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. It's got a nice little suspension on it. Um, nice feature, and there's plenty of space to mount electronics on the inside. All right, dead robot box, got all the good stuff in it. Here is a very unfortunate one pound battle bot. From this guy, we want the speed controller right here. This is a saber tooth, I believe. Very user friendly. Um, it's a couple years old, so there's probably newer better off the market, but this is as plug and play as it comes with electronic speed controllers. So we're going to take this guy out of here. Um, maybe use the battery too, that might be good. And uh, we've got some other dead robots in here that uh, we'll dig into later. So here's a tip with speed controller. Super simple, easy to use. Um, you got a few channel selections there to dial in your settings if you know you want to drive it like a tank with two joysticks or you want to combine on one joystick on your transmitter. Um, you got your two connections for your two motors, power in, and then your channel one, channel two to your uh, receiver. And there's also the power supply to your server. So this will step down your input voltage down to five volts to power your receiver. Super nice, super simple, great for beginners. Okay, we got all the electronics hooked up. We have our battery, power switch before it goes to our speed controller. The speed controller goes to both motors and then also connects to our receiver. We got our transmitter turn on and I think it'll work. So left tread. Oh, sorry, right tread. Duh. Left tread. Forwards. Backwards. 
turn right, turn left. So right now I have it set up for you know tank steering. Um, as I said earlier, this speed controller is super great. There's a switch you can flip, and then you could drive it just with the right joysticks to go forward, left, right. Um, I prefer the tank steering for now, so take this outside and see how it does. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Um, on the next installment, part three, we're going to be mounting this robotic arm to our Devastator chassis. I need to get my hands on a at least five channel transmitter receiver before that, so uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.